It's really so nice to have you here on Houses Flipping People and uh, share with us what were you doing before you became a real estate investor? Yeah, so before I became a real estate investor, I was actually in the military. I did 20 years uh, in the army and then uh, I owned a, a postery shop. Well, thank you for your service. And uh, so you were in the military for 20 years? Yes. Wow. And uh, how can a 18 years old announce what they're doing and deciding to go to the army? Um, that That's kind of up to debate. I don't really know, but uh, they definitely train you um, how to completely live. It's a, they take all your rights away and then tell you how to do everything again from the beginning. <laughs> Why did you went to the military? Actually, I didn't have a plan to go in the military. My older brother uh, wanted to go. He asked me if I'd go take the test with him. Next thing you knew, next day I was swearing in with my brother. <laughs> so it wasn't like a dream. It wasn't something that you planned that, that like this is what I'm going to do. It was more like I'm just going to engage and go with it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I had thought about it when I was younger, but at the time I was working construction uh, with one of my dad's companies and I was making really good money uh, living at home with no bills, so I had no reason to join the military. It's just uh, my brother kind of influenced me and he got out after eight months and I stayed in for 20 years. So, wow, that, that's, that's a change there. So my 14 years old, he swear that is what he wants to do. And I'm like, Noah, let's talk about, <laughs> let's rethink. And he is a full speed. This is what he wants to do. So I always speak to everyone's brain that they, they went to the army or to the military just because that's where my son wants to go. And I'm trying to understand his why as well. And uh, what are the things that you learn in the military that you use from back then to your real life today? Um, so I was in infantry and I was in uh, Ranger Battalion and spent most of my time in Special Forces as a Green Beret. So a lot of times we go out of country, uh, Central and South America was my main area, and we go down and we represent the United States as a small team, usually between 8 and 12 people. And uh, we run and train up their militaries and uh, just the discipline the every day of being able to kind of be on your own there were definitely sometimes I went on missions where where I was by myself for like six months and you got to build your own schedule and and keep it um, and it's it's the same in any business I mean you can just go with the flow but you're not really going to ever uh, flourish in that but if you kind of have a plan and you stick with your plan uh, it's a lot easier to accomplish not to mention that you can you can also have little points to know when when you're doing what you want to do by meeting certain markers. Well, we appreciate your service, so thanks for serving our country. And, uh, you know, it, as you're going through the process, as you're in the military for 20 years, um, I'm sure you learned and you saw a lot. Which part of South America were you most of the time? Well, uh, most of the time, uh, pretty much we, we traveled, so we never really stayed in one country really long. Uh, most of my deployments were anywhere from six months to ten months, uh, usually at the longest, unless it was over to combat in Afghanistan, Iraq, or whatever. But um, so on average, I'd say between six and ten months. Okay. Which country were you in most? I haven't been to your country. <laughs> we're going to scratch that and redo that one. <laughs> so w what are the countries that you were uh, through the, through the, with that period? Um, so I did Paraguay, Uruguay, Chile, Ecuador, Peru, Honduras, um, I think that's about it in Central and, and oh, South. You got to know pretty well South American then. Yes, I've been very well traveled. Okay, and it sounds like in most of those countries, all those countries speak Spanish. Correct. How's your Spanish? Uh, my Spanish is okay now. I mainly speak in present tense, unfortunately. <laughs> my wife is from Peru, um, so I get to work on my Spanish daily. Um, it's a must. But it is, especially down in this market, down in uh, the Houston market. What motivates you to become a real estate investor? Um, so really just looking at the freedom that real estate investing can, can bring us. Um, 
you know, from going from where I started to where I am now and the amount of time, um, I don't know any other industry you can do that legally uh, unless maybe you hit it off as a top actor. Right now, I live a pretty decent lifestyle, but I want to increase that for my kids um, so they can have even a better lifestyle, continue doing what I was doing, and continue to grow it.